Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. How to become a successful civil engineer? I think every civil engineering student want to become a successful civil engineer. So how you can become a successful civil engineer? Have you think about this? Guys, today I will guide you. If you want to become a successful civil engineer and you want to pass interview and you want to get job easily, so you need some important requirements by which you can pass interview, you can become a successful civil engineer and also you can get a job easily. So today in this video I will tell you how you can become a successful civil engineer if you are studying civil engineering. So let's start guys. If you didn't subscribe my channel uh, till now, so you must subscribe the channel with press bell icon to get notification for new update civil engineering videos and uh, before starting the video you must like this video for my motivation the topic is how to become a successful civil engineer so guys today in this video i will tell you 10 requirements if you follow these requirements which i am telling you in this video so i hope you will get a job easily you will pass interview and you will have a good personality especially in civil engineering let's start the first one is if you want to become a successful civil engineer so you should know and you should learn test of building materials it's very important for civil engineering student to know the different test for building materials like slum test soil test also a concrete test etc so it's important for you and also break test to check first quality, second quality, etc. So all materials, building material uh, test should be known every civil engineering student and they should know the specific formulas by which you can uh, find out the different test for building material. So this is the first point and you should learn about this because we have different types of materials and different types of materials is different test like slum test compaction test okay compression test soil test okay etc so you should know about these test okay etc guys the second one is investigation of soil Civil engineering student should also be know about investigation of soil, about its bearing capacity of soil, how to check bearing capacity of soil, what, uh, uh, what type of uh, test we can do uh, to check the bearing capacity of soil, stability of soil before starting building construction on any soil, so you should check its stability. As the soil is uh, able to support the structure load of the building or not okay so uh, check the stability test or sbc sbc soil bearing capacity okay stability stability of soil okay strength of soil etc so this is strength of soil means uh, to check bearing capacity of soil okay sbc so this is the second one so you should also know about this if you want to become a successful civil engineer and these requirements which i am telling you this is also often asked question in interview if you want to pause the interview so you should also know about these points which i am telling you in this video so this is the second requirement for civil engineer the third one is guys uses of serving instrument uses of serving instrument should be know every civil engineering student if they want to become a successful civil engineer and uses of serving instrument like I will tell you level machine okay like also theodolite okay compass GPS etc so you should know about the uses of different uh, also uh, TS total station etc okay this is the important ts so you should also know the uses of serving instrument if you want to 
become a successful civil engineer. Now guys, the fourth one is bar bending schedule. This is one of the important uh, topic I can say, bar bending schedule. Cutting length, okay, shape of steel, steel reinforcement, uh, quantity of steel. So these all things become in bar bending schedule. So every civil engineering student should be know about the bar bending schedule if you want to work on construction site specially. So you should know about the bar bending schedule, how to prepare bar bending, bar bending schedule, how we can uh, put the value in bar bending schedule for different types of steel and uh, for uh, different dia of steel, etc. So uh, uh, every civil engineering student should be know about bar bending schedule. This is also the important uh, topic in civil engineering. The fifth one is guys standard codes used in construction because for different construction work especially con construction work beam column slab steel concrete etc for that we have uh, standard codes used in construction like aci aci codes american concrete institute is indian standard codes etc so you should know about the different codes for construction works or for different uh, materials you should know about especially for for drawing for steel structure for uh, cement for beam column for slab for all elements which we are using in building construction or which we are construction uh, construction and building construction so for that we have different codes and different books and different uh, ACI codes specially, also in IS codes, etc. Okay, so uh, civil engineering students should also be know about the standard codes for civil engineering construction, okay, which are using in civil engineering construction. The sixth one is guys, drawing and design. Many students, they don't know how to read civil engineering drawing. They don't know how to read structure drawing in civil engineering. They don't know about design, drawing and design. So you should get knowledge about drawing and also its design. So you should know about the steel structure design and the different assembles which we are using in drawing. So it is helpful for you uh, in civil engineering. So therefore, if you don't know about the uh, drawing, how to read civil engineering drawing. So if you don't know, so I think you are not able to start your construction and you are not able uh, to do something uh, on site so therefore drawing is must okay the seventh one is estimation and bills how to prepare bill and estimations especially for materials which we are using in construction how to prepare bill so you should also study for this if you don't know so you should research for this and you should ask from your teacher ask from uh, someone which are working on site and you can also search in YouTube. I've already discussed in many videos how to prepare build and estimations. I have also uh, different videos. Okay. Guys, the eighth one is quality control. This is also the important for civil engineering student. If you want to become a successful civil engineer, so you should also know about the quality control, how to make quality control on site. Okay. How to reduce cost of project. In quality control, we should know how to make a quality, how to uh, reduce the cost of project, how to bring more advantages to project, how you can make a good project, how you can bring more facilities in the project without more cost. Okay, by low cost, how you can bring good quality. Okay, this is also the part of building. Guys, the ninth one is on-field management. On-field management should be know every civil engineering student if they want to become a good civil engineer. So on-field management like farm work, shuttering, and civil engineering students should be know how to measure beam, column, slab, how to find volume, you should know about the density of different materials. So all these things on field management. So you should also know on field management, how to fix farm work. So you will not fix the farm work. So you should know uh, removal of farm work, 
how to check from work okay so uh, this is also the part of <coughs> building construction guys the last one is the very important if uh, you don't know about this one and if you don't know uh, if you don't want to follow this one so i think uh, he is not a good civil engineer and he is not a successful civil engineer that is coordination with laborers if you don't have good coordination okay so if you don't follow good co uh, uh, coordination with labor now guys the last one is very important so every civil engineering uh, student and civil engineer should be know the coordination with labors you should have good behavior with labor okay so if your relationship is not good with labor so you are not able to complete your project to bring quality control because you will have good relationship you you will have good management with good relationship okay so uh, there you can uh, bring more facilities for your project and also for your labors so every civil engineer should be have a good coordination with labor so if the labor is uh, not happy from engineer so they are not able to complete your work because uh, you will keep them happy so i hope they will complete your work and also uh, uh, you will uh, complete your project of uh, if they can work with you okay guys so okay guys so these are some important points which i've discussed the front of you how to become a successful civil engineer and i've already discussed these are often asked question in an interview they can ask from you so if you want to become a successful civil engineer and uh, if you want to have a good personality in civil engineering so you should keep in your mind these things and you should research for these how you can complete these 10 requirements which i have discussed the front of you so guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye